Welcome to another episode of EMA Cloud Rants, today with our special guest, Brad Parks of Morpheus Data, and with our very well-known Jens Söldner. Uh, guys, today what we are talking about is not multi-cloud management, despite Morpheus being there, but I think what makes Morpheus so special and an EMA, EMA top three uh, winner is this ability to tie together the DevOps tool chain with hybrid cloud and with orchestration and automation tools so that you get your releases faster, you get them uh, cheaper, you get them uh, at, a, at a higher quality simply because you can automate uh, the entire process, Brad. Uh, this is basically your how, how you compete in the marketplace. Yeah, that's really where, where we see a unique fit, right, is the, the reason people are moving to cloud uh, from a digital transformation perspective is to develop software faster. Uh, and as part of that, you've got this tension between, you know, the dev guys and the ops guys. And each of those teams has tried to automate over the course of the last few years, yet they're always falling short. And so unifying you know, cloud ops and dev ops uh, really is where we fit and one of the reasons uh, we think we're pretty successful in that is where the product came from. We're actually designed by a bunch of DevOps guys who needed to automate provisioning for themselves. So they mm -hmm. did not go out just to build a product to sell to the market. Uh, this was a team of DevOps uh, professionals who were trying to automate deployment of software for 20 some odd portfolio companies that were part of a private equity concern. So they built it for themselves and in doing so happened to build an automation suite that large enterprises really gravitate to because it solves their problems and lets them bring their own tools without forcing them to shift how they go about doing their day-to-day uh, -day operations. And Jens, you're the practitioner. You work with customers on cloud projects on a daily basis. Where do you see the most significant problem when it comes to what Brad was mentioning, the self-service piece, the integration with the DevOps lifecycle part? I would say the complexity of existing solutions out there in the wild. So normally they require like massive consulting services to set up the processes, set up the portal itself, and then like customize it, get things moving into Active Directory, integrate with Puppet and whatnot. And I think that and also like struggling with some of the less attractive features of the existing products counterintuitive user interfaces and that kind of stuff. So people are really struggling here and then that's only like basic, like cloud or virtual machine provisioning. What about DevOps and so on? I think they're really looking for alternatives that are more viable and yeah, are more agile and flexible. Right, that's your sweet spot. That's really what we, uh, what we try and, and do and a lot of the customers we talk to are extremely large enterprises who tried you know, some of the tools from the you know the big well-known vendors out there, whether mm. it's you know VMware, Red Hat, there are a lot of good tools. If you're a say, kind of single-purpose shop and you have the army of people to do the care and feeding and develop scripts and connect them to all of the external pieces of your infrastructure, but knitting together a modern IT infrastructure is, I think, one of the most challenging things you could do on this planet. But the way we fit into that environment really is to be a kind of a self-leveling layer that you can put on top. So whether you are running you know, Ansible, Chef, Puppet, or Salt, or VMware, or Cloud Foundry, or you're thinking about Kubernetes, the goal for us is to come in, unify all of that, as well as integrate with a lot of the day two operations. So backup, load balancers, um, you know, performance monitoring, logging, mm -hmm. bring all that together under kind of one roof and do it in a way that's out of the box. Right. So you can do all of those functions if you have an army of scripting monkeys to you know, pull it together. Uh, but with Morpheus, it really is an out-of-the-box experience, connect to your clouds. And when we say integrate, we don't mean just kicking off a webhook or a script. It's native integration to go you know, initiate, uh, initiate those actions. Yeah, and that's exactly the nightmare for Jens' consulting firm, right? All of a sudden, you cannot charge anymore for <laughs> many yeah. hundreds. Come work for more I'm reading my know? thoughts, actually. I was just thinking, what I'm saying here, <laughs> I'm sabotaging our own business. Oh, man. <laughs> I actually had an interview with a guy we just hired. Uh, he, he's worked at Google and at NASA. Mm. Um, so 
Kubernetes and OpenStack experience, you know, to you dream of. And but his goal has always been to put himself out of business. And and mm -hmm. one of the reasons he came to Morpheus was he he thinks he found a tool that really helped to do that. Every good consultant is trying to put themselves out of business because otherwise your customers uh, <laughs> will do that for you if you are um, adding hours for no value. And uh, Brad, that's exactly why we selected uh, Morpheus Data into the EMA Top 3. It is not yet uh, not just another cloud management tool. It is truly a policy integration automation orchestration layer that goes across bare metal, VM, containers, uh, functions as a service. Uh, in the in the hyper data center locally and in the public cloud basically treats this all as one unified infrastructure layer from an application perspective. Thank you guys. We are at the end of our time and this was another episode of EMA Cloud Rainance. Thanks guys. Thank you.